the same thing with your finances. Always broke. Never having money. Same way you have staff members in an organization. Like here too. They don't know what to do with their money. It doesn't matter how much they receive. It just doesn't last. And they just take it and the next thing they know it's all gone. They, they paid for this. They paid for that. They paid for that. And some even say, ever before the money comes, it's already gone. Because they spent it in borrowing and borrowing and borrowing. So even when the money comes, it's, it's already, I mean, it's already gone. They don't have it. What kind of life is this? Why have you chosen to become a failure like this? Don't you understand the definition of a failure? This is a failure already. What you you got to do something to change it. You can go on like this. Never having. Always broke. No, 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 no. Stop it. Say to yourself, no, I'm going to stop it. I'm going to make it stop. And I'm stopping it today. Begin like this. Because they say, I give my tithes, I give my this, I give my that. I don't understand what happens to my money. I never have enough. You never have enough. Not the way you're going. Start by disciplining yourself. No matter how much you get, hear this. The problem people have is not the money they get. It has always been the mind they have. The type of mind. The way their mind works. Even if you put them on top of all the money in central bank, they'll become broke. Doesn't matter, they'll be broke. They have a lifestyle of being broke. And they even laugh about it. I never have enough money left. They're laughing. They don't realize every statement they make is a material for building their lives. Don't joke with your life. Okay? When we, when we make jokes, we don't joke with anything that has the capacity to take a hold of our lives. Are you hearing me? I cannot say negative things out of my mouth. I'm not going to let them come out. I'm not going to let them come out. See, I've, you know, I've passed the level of trying to say, of trying to replace bad with good. I'm now working on replacing the good ones with the excellent. See that? Because there's the excellent communication. Not just good, but excellent. Something better than, than good when you talk. Are you hearing me? Because you, you, you want to keep your life at a certain level. I prefer to have my life at an excellent level, excellent platform. Always be in charge always now when things happen and the controlled by others and those things are supposed to work against you you stand tall over and above them because you live on a higher plane of life I live by a different set of rules you see I live from another kingdom so I'm going to operate from that kingdom. See that? That's the way you should think. You don't belong here. Jesus said you are not of this world. Jesus said so. And if Jesus said so, so it is. Jesus said I'm not of this world, so I'm not of this world. Therefore I'm not subject to the things that happen here. I'm not subject to the elements of this world. The Bible says when we were Nepios, we were subject to the elements of this world. When we were children. See? But have you grown? Have you grown? Have you come out of babyhood stage? Have you come out of there? If you've come out of there, then talk differently. Use the kingdom talk, kingdom language. I'm never broke. I refuse to be broke. I'll never be broke. I always have. I always have. I always have. And then I start practicing having. I start practicing having. I start by what? Saving. I start by saving. You say, what if the money is not even enough for the month? Who told you? Save out of it. God said to you to give him one tenth of all your income. Is that correct? So you give him one tenth. If God asks for one tenth, it means one tenth is important and significant. 
why don't you try? If you think that what you have is little, why don't you try half of that? Why don't you try saving half of that? Some of you can afford to save an equal amount of that, another one tenth. Some of you can even afford to save the twentieth part, right? Mm -hmm. Some of you can afford to save half of what you receive. And some can even save more than that. But let's begin. Half of one tenth, you can save it. Today, saving is not because of the interest upon it. Saving is a discipline. Because the interest upon it that you may get from where you save it may make no sense and may discourage you because of inflation. So it may discourage you from even saving the money in the first place. All right? But do it because you're disciplining yourself to always have. 